Hey guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to World of Tanks. Uh, this is going to be my first real news episode for World of Tanks in this in the same format that I use for Armored Warfare. And that's because there is a lot of news to cover today in the World of Tanks, just I guess, world. Uh, that's pretty incredible. First things first is just this sneak preview on August. Wargaming as a company is turning 21 and so there's going to be some special goodies. They always bring back unique vehicles or do some other cool missions. And just to give you a quick rundown of things that I spotted that I thought were really cool is that they will be bringing back the Panhard EBR, the T-34 Shielded, and the KV-2R, which is the Tier 6 Premium KV-2. Well, I guess the normal KV-2 is also Tier 6, but it's a premium version that they partnered up with Warhammer to do. But the other two are unique because while the EBR was sold for a time, after its marathon, I think the T-34 Shield it was just a prize tank for people who actually completed the whole marathon. So it's unique to see that one being sold. I will personally be picking up the Panhard EBR-75 since I missed it the first time. That was a huge mistake. But if you're a collector of any type of unique or rare vehicles, I definitely recommend getting the T-34 Shield it if you missed that event like I did. Uh, it's a pretty cool tank. It comes with a unique... Uh, historic style to commemorate the Battle of Kursk. Uh, Frontline Episode 7 is coming and there's some big news with that that I will cover just after this because we are finally getting a new Frontline map and it was covered in testing. I don't have any footage personally of it because I didn't actually get on the test server yet but it is pretty cool. Month-long event, deal of a deal, which is every month for people that don't have a premium account or free-to-play, like me, they offer a special $12, you get 30 days of premium time, as well as a unique Tier 3 vehicle. However, this month is the month that I'm actually going to do it, because you get the Gross Tractor Krupp Tier 3 medium tank. The reason I like that so much is because it's a really weird, very unique Tier 3 that... I didn't think they were ever going to sell again. It's one of those tanks that, unlike the other ones that broke the game, this did the opposite. It was like there in a flash, and then they removed it because it just was terrible, and nobody really wanted to buy it or play it. And it's just really weird. It's a multi-turreted tank that's good at nothing, from what I remember, unless they buffed it. I haven't really heard too much news about it, but... You have a chance to pick one up yourself if you're a collector like I am. Go right ahead. Of course, you have the Player Tank Class Right series where you get more experience for doing things and completing missions. Uh, tournament missions. I guess there's August tournament matches. I don't know. That I don't know. For the 21st birthday, there will be a 5 times XP weekend and XP missions. 2 times XP Crew Challenge, August 15th, one of the greatest war movies ever made was released, one of your slaters. Okay, um, man, I wish I knew what movie that was, August 15th, 1979. So, they're giving you a plus 50% XP weekend and missions where you can earn a special style. I wonder what movie that is, August 15th. Maybe it's Stalker? I don't know. It's a really great sci-fi film, <laughs> if nobody's seen that. I think that came out in 79. Uh, an extended Labor Day, which is coming up. 2XP weekend. Mastery missions. What's the on-track mission? It's going to be for the AMX Falk B and the Super Conqueror. So that'll be fun. And then, of course, tank rewards. We are winding down to the end of this month, so if you haven't collected your tank rewards yet, Please go and do that, as well as if you are a Twitch Prime subscriber, uh, Care Package Golf is up right now if you want it to get that. Anyway, that's basic news for the August stuff. But here is, this screenshot is just of the new map for Frontline called Kraftwerk, which takes place in a nuclear power plant, which I'm assuming is in Germany because it's called Kraftwerk. But this screenshot is so important because there's a lot of great videos right now uh, from other content creators of them going through the map. The map is littered with tunnels that you actually have to get into. Some of the 
pillboxes at the end that you have to destroy are so heavily guarded that the only way to get to them is, well, at least one. The rest you do have to go around the back of the map because they're in actual defended positions, unlike the ones on Overlord, but one of them is inside a bunker complex that you have to get inside these tunnels to actually take it out. And these tunnels litter the map so you can go underground to avoid enemy fire when repositioning or to get the drop on other players. And while it looks like it's only going to be really advantageous for light tanks, they are massive from the gameplay that I saw and I kind of want to go play it myself. Uh, so any vehicles can actually get in there and wreak some havoc. We got some pretty nice uh, shots here. These are the cooling towers. It is a winter map. It's just, I think it's the same size as Overlord, to be honest, but man, it looks so much bigger. It looks so much cooler. This is actually a bridge. There's a series of bridges outside of this town or this factory that you can use for strategic positioning to avoid artillery fire. It's just, it's really nice to actually get a, a new map. And those are the only pictures that Wargaming themselves have put out. But I highly encourage you to go watch other people's footage on it. And here's the entire map. This here is actually a raised highway with four flyways that you can use. Again, if you're a light tank, it'll probably be best. Or a mobile medium tank. Uh, the tunnels are, I think if I remember right, the pillboxes are back here. This is this mountain, which, let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, sort of. This mountain is the tunnel complex. It's just, it's going to be a really cool map, and I'm looking forward to playing it. It's going to be unique. And if, if nothing else, at least Frontline, which has been in the game now for, I think, three years, it's nice to at least get a new map. So that's cool. And then last but not least for this news episode is something that I just saw, which is actually really incredible. Uh, it is a new vehicle restoration tool. So the VRT allows you to restore all premium and rare vehicles that have been previously sold as many times as you would like. And so you can restore your premiums without using one of the yearly exceptions where it's like, oh, hey, you might have sold a tank. Now, I think it's during the Black Friday event in November that they do it. I'm not sure. But now it doesn't matter. So they give you a little example of like how you have to pay for it. If you wanted to do get the mutant back, you're going to need 1.6 million credits or 50 million base credits, so it's 10% to restore the vehicle, which is nice because you don't have to pay gold again for it. And this is going to be really cool, and I can't wait to give this a try because I've sold a lot of rare vehicles in my time that I wish I had not sold. Uh, my number one being the E75, that really annoying TD. I should have never sold it. So, uh, hopefully you guys will be able to use this to get back some really cool vehicles. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see my upcoming care package video I'm going to do right after this in World of Tanks. And then subsequent World of Tank videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.